Hey gang, how about a super easy beef stew tonight? That's kind of what I'm wanting. I could turn my oil down over here. It's getting hot. There's some beef tips that uh, they come real, you know, they come kind of big. I just chopped them up a little bitty bite-sized pieces, you know, something real little like that. And uh, it's kind of quite a lot of them, so we might have to do this in two batches. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to throw a bunch of these over in this flour right here. Like that. Where's the top of my bowl at? Something, something. Just something like that. Give them a good coating up. We'll do about half at a time. That probably be all right. Yeah. I'll do this first half on camera. And I'll do the next half off so you guys ain't got to worry about watching it. Give it a good shake. Like that. Something like that. Like I got something like I said. Something like a, oh, now they're all coated up with flour. Over here, we got our oil. It's hot, it's smoking. I got it turned down. So let's take our beef here, shake off some of this flour, start laying down that hot oil. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. That flour's gonna help make a gravy. Make our stew later. Yes, sir. All right. Let me get this. Uh, I'm going to get them all browned up. I'll go just brown it up. And I'll, I'll bring you back when everything's browned up and cooked. So, we'll see you in a second. All right, guys and girls. I'm only going to use half of all that meat. When I chopped it up, it made a lot. So... What you see me put in the pan just a few minutes ago is still the same meat. I've just been uh, turning it around, getting it browned up, getting a good sear on it, and cooking that flour down. I'm going to add about a cup of beef broth in it right now. That's about a cup, I think. Just to get them good bits up off the bottom. What's that called? It fond or whatever. Ooh, that smells good. And that uh, flour on that meat is going to help thicken that up real quick here. See how it's thickening up already? This will be our stew. Now, <laughs> I would have added an onion if I had an onion, but I didn't have an onion. So if you want onion here, by all means use it. I would have if I use, if I had one, trust me. Ain't nothing like an onion in your beef stew. See how thick that is? Let's go ahead and add the rest of this. It'll be a total of 32 ounces. Yeah, get in there. Beef. Beef juice. Oh, all of it. 32 ounces. Yes. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is bring it up to a boil real quick. Get over in there. Stir that around. Now I've not salted or peppered anything yet. So uh, when it comes up to a boil, we'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, real quick. It came up to a boil. I've turned, the, I've turned the heat down to a simmer. Yeah, I'm going to put a lid on it. And we're just going to let that simmer. We're going to let it simmer down now. Let it simmer down. About half an hour, I guess. So we'll be back then. Alrighty, everybody. So it's actually been about 45 minutes. And guys and girls, I lied to you all ago. Don't cover this. Uh, cook it on simmer for uncovered until everything's tender. All your beef is tender down in there and you're your uh, stew's kind of coming together, getting a little bit thick on you. Now what I'm going to do is I cheated and I boiled some potatoes. Not all the way, they're still hard in the center. But I kind of boiled them just for a few minutes just to help them cook. If I put them in here raw, it's going to take forever. So I'm going to add all these potatoes in here. Yeah, get it to know each other when that... Uh, with that beef and that stew in there. Mm, that's right, boys. Now I've got a bunch of uh, celery and carrots. I like using those little baby cut carrots and just cut them in half and throw them in there. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, what are you talking about? About too much for my cast iron pan there, ain't it? I should have used a big pot, but I think this will be all right. Now, I seasoned a little bit while I go off camera. I put some salt and pepper in it. But we might do a little bit more here in a few minutes. I don't know. Let's just get all that dunk down in that uh, stew or gravy or whatever the hell you want to call it. And now we're going to cover it. So don't cover it for the first 45 minutes. But now for the next, probably another half an hour or longer, I'll tell you what I, what I do. Now I am going to cover it. Just like that. Just like I said, like I said, with a lot of food. That's going to be delicious, I believe. Delicious. Now I got it still, I got it on medium heat, so it's going to come back up to a simmer. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes when it's done. Hey guys. I don't know where the hell I am in this video right now. I'm telling you right. Mr. Stone's been by, and uh, we've been getting to know each other again tonight. With all those potatoes you see there are done. Just If you can just put your wooden wooden spoon right through there. This this is done, but I'm going to add, I forgot, I'm going to add about a half a bag of frozen peas to it. Yeah. I forgot my onion, but I, forgot, I had some frozen peas in the freezer. So we're going to warm those through. Probably won't take another 10 minutes or so. And uh, this will be done. I told you a while ago, when next time I brought you back, we was going to make a taste test. But <laughs> i got to wait a second. We're going to wait till these, uh, these peas get warmed up. And it shouldn't take much longer. Maybe 10 more minutes. I'm gonna turn the heat down because everything else is done. I'm gonna look, I'm just gonna let the heat from the from the stew there cook these peas. So as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna turn it off. Just turn it off. So we'll be back in a few minutes because that cast iron pan is gonna keep all that heat going. Man, I tell you what, this looks good. It smells even better. I tasted it a few minutes ago. I added some salt and pepper. Just add salt and pepper to your taste. You know, it's just me showing you guys me adding salt and pepper to it oh man does this look and smell good i'm telling you right now we back a few minutes all right gang so our our peas have been heating through everything's done I'm getting hungry got us a bowl here got us a got us a what the hell is this thing uh ladle let's get some of this stew out i'm putting this bowl right here you can see how thick boy it's God, that's going to be good stuff right there. I'm telling you right now. If you want bigger pieces of beef, you know, don't cut them up like I did. But I like little pieces of beef. I like bite sized, you know. Mm. So there's our bowl over here, guys. You ain't paying attention. Where the hell you at? There you are. Yeah, where's my? Hang on, let me get me a spoon. Now, here we go. That's right, boy, it's gonna be good, I guarantee it. Guarantee it. And taters and carrots and celery and uh, peas and beef. Ready? Blow it off for a second. Mmm. Oh. Alright. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One more. One more. Mm-hmm. One more. Oh, I didn't blow that one off. Mmm. That is so much better than any kind of store bought. I don't give a damn denty more or whatever the hell you are. You can't beat that. You cannot beat it. Anyway, as always, guys, if you hung around and stuck to the end of this, cheers. Uh, me and Mr. Stone are going to tear that bowl up. Probably one more, but just like it. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.
Um, I don't know how long I cooked all this. 45 minutes and then, then another 45 minutes. Uh, ask me in the comments. I'll probably remember tomorrow or the next day or something. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching as always. Bye.